hi there and Merry Christmas. I'm Sandy Alnock and for Christmas Eve I thought I would post a little bonus video since I had this one done. This was a Facebook Live that I did and I finally figured out how to download it so I could post it over here on YouTube. I considered posting the hour and a half video and thought that would be a little much. So if you want to see the full thing, you can go over to Facebook and see it in the Bible Journaling Made Simple group. I do have a link for it in the description. And I've also added a sketch. So the sketch for this one, if you wish to try something like this, you can try it in this loose and washy style. You can do it in whatever style you want. But I have just the line drawing for Mary's uh, body, her belly, her face, that sort of thing, so that you can use that if you wish. The Facebook Live video talked a lot about Mary. We had a long discussion about my thoughts about her in the Bible Journaling Made Simple workbook that you can see behind my Bible. I wrote out all the questions that I would like to interview Mary about someday when I get to heaven and meet her. Because I have a lot of things I would love to know. Like, did Jesus have stinky diapers? Or was he so perfect that even his diapers weren't poopy like other babies? I don't know. How much did she know about what was coming? And I know there's all sorts of people who have come up with their own answers for what they think God has told her. I don't believe scripture has given us all those specific answers, and I'm actually okay with it. I know a lot of people want to have really specific answers to everything, and they can get into dangerous turf by trying to make up answers or divine answers from places that weren't addressing it. And there were a lot of things about Mary that I don't believe were addressed specifically. A lot of it just says she pondered these things in her heart and we don't know what that means. We don't know how much she was pondering and how much was there. How much Jesus knew. Did he walk in the door one day and tell her everything? Did she expect him to? Did she hope he would? Lots of different things run through my crazy brain. And fortunately, God made me have all those questions, but also to be okay with not having the answers so that I'm not driven crazy by it. I just, I just wonder things a lot. So there you go. The whole theme for this page was Mary. Did you know? And it came out really beautiful. It's not my normal style. I don't usually do things quite this washy, but I was trying to create lace by doing some negative painting there in, in the veil that's coming down over her arm and was kind of going through some challenges figuring that out. But it was kind of fun to, to do this along with others while they were doing their Bible journaling. And we were all just sitting there together with our computers open and, and working together. I also wanted to mention while I'm here on YouTube, something that's coming up. I did talk about it in the Facebook Live video toward the beginning of it, that I am going to be posting a free class coming up in January. It's going to go live on January 2nd because my church is doing 40 days of prayer and fasting to start off the new year. We've done that before. And in the past, last year, I did a drawing each day for each one of the prompts. And I shared them with my church at one point and they wanted to use them. So we're, we've been using them for lots of the materials that we're doing. We printed a little book for our church to use and stuff. There's all sorts of information that... I'll be posting in the Facebook group for anybody who wants to get more involved in doing that. And you can download the prayer guide yourself. But what I wanted to do was make it more art friendly. So I am posting it as a quote unquote class on my teaching site. It's going to be a free one. And what you'll get when you go to this class, each lesson will be a different day. So on your day one, whatever day you sign up for the class, You'll get the scripture for the day. You'll get the prayer prompt for the day. I'm going to pick out a worship video to add to the lesson just to get you in the mood. You can sing along or worship as desired. And then I'm also going to post my art that I did, the drawing that I did, and why I did it. Like where the idea came from or some things that you can think about as you're praying through that and, and praying through the prompts and things to help yourself to be able to journal from it as well, if you wish. And sometimes there's going to be a video. So I have some videos that I did based on some of that artwork, but sometimes there won't be. And it's just going to be hit or miss whether there is or not. In January, I plan to do some more of those lessons that are the, those drawings. I'm going to turn them into videos and into Bible journaling pages. So things will get added over time as well. 
But if you're interested in signing up, if you sign up on January 2nd, then you'll be along with where my church is in the program. So day one will be January 2nd, day two will be January 3rd. But if you don't sign up till say January 10th, then that will be your day one. And the class is designed that you can do it any time. There's no need for everybody to be on the same page at the same time, unless you just want to be doing that at the same time as my church. So if you get this, watch this video on another day, you can certainly do that any old day. So you can go to art-classes.com on January 2nd or afterward. And after, after the class is live, I'll put a link in the description down below so you can get directly to it. And there's a link to the Facebook live video and the sketch and everything in the description. And I will see you later. Have a merry, merry Christmas and a blessed new year.